So today's video, I thought I'd go ahead. I don't believe I've done one of these um, bird houses before. This is a Carolina Wren nest box. I've already cut the wood out, um, pre-drilled the holes and everything. Um, all you're gonna really need, and I use cedar for some of my bird houses and pine for others. Um, the nest boxes, I typically use the cedar and, and I just use a clear coat on them, but um, what I've done is I've taken an eight foot piece of cedar that was one by eight and I've planed it down to three quarter inches. Um, this is gonna take roughly 31, 32 inches of wood out of that board. So I can make a couple of birdhouses out of that. The plans also have you go up a quarter inch for the bottom, for the, for the base or the floor. You're not going to drill holes in this one in the bottom for drainage. You clip the corners and what I do is I just take uh, and I measure three-eighths of an inch on each side of it and then I clip the corner where those where those uh, measurements are going to meet up. Um, that's really the only uh, angle cuts you'll make on this on this birdhouse. It's fairly simple, fairly easy. Um, so with that, I'll go ahead and I'll just, uh, um, the next part, I've already dry fit everything and I'm gonna just sand it, get all my marks off of there. All right, so all I've done is just a rough sanding. I used 60 grit paper. I'm gonna leave the inside kind of rough, but I wanted all my marks um, off of the uh, off the wood. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna start just kind of putting it together now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I'm gonna use wood glue as well to keep it all together. You don't necessarily have to glue it. Um, I just, I, I do, and I'm using, again, uh, one and five eighths, number seven, screws, they're the star bit screw, these seem to really hold real well, and I don't have any problems with them, so.
And on these, when I use cedar, I, I all I do is um, I use a clear stain to seal the wood. So let's see, there we go. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the top and I won't glue this, the front. That way the front can come off and, and it'll be easier to clean it out. So with that being said, we'll just set the front in place. So there it is. As you see, it's it's pretty quick, pretty easy. All right. So before I put the lid on the the roof, which I can go ahead and show you real quick. There it is. Carolina Wren nest box. Let me go ahead. I'll sand down the rest of this, get it nice. So I'll probably speed up the video again. So here we go. Okay, so there you have it. Finished product, just about. <clears throat> I've sanded everything um, with 120 grit sandpaper now, other than I'm gonna let the back, I'm gonna let the glue dry a little bit more before I sand the back side. And then I'm gonna sand up underneath here to get the glue, the excess glue off as well. Um, but, as you can tell, pretty quick, pretty simple, easy, uh, it's all a nesting box, um, and I've done, um, I've done a wren nesting box before, and I did, um, I did a cardinal nesting box, which is a little bit different than this. It has a peaked roof, um, and the front actually sticks out. It has a gap between the sides. It, it's not butted up against it uh, as much as this one. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Once it's dried, we'll be back, and I'll have it sanded down, and then we'll put the uh, clear coat finish uh, to seal the wood. So, all right, we'll be back shortly. All right, so this is just a clear lacquer finish that I'm putting on. Um, nothing special about it. Uh, I just don't typically stain uh, cedar any other color. I think cedar is a beautiful wood um, all on its own. Um, the one thing that I don't do that some, I guess, might do, um, but I've, I'm in, in looking at it, I don't spray in, I don't do anything on the interior of the uh, nest boxes or um, birdhouses that I build. 
Um, I don't want to have any toxic stuff inside there that'll mess with the birds that'll hurt them in any way. So, um, when I get to doing the front end of it, um, I'll do that a little, a little differently. I'll be spraying out so I don't get any inside or as little inside as possible. Um, so anyhow, this should dry here shortly. And I think it'll look, it'll have a nice shine to it. Um, it won't be too shiny because this is uh, this is supposed to be a clear satin finish. Um, so it won't have a glare on it, hopefully. Anyhow, once this dries, I'll be back, finish it up. Anyhow, I think that's it. And um, I guess before I go, before I close this video out, if you noticed earlier, I um, I brought a branding iron over and I put put my uh, put my name on it and inside of it. I'm still trying to figure that out a little better. Uh, it's hard to get the pressure right and the heat right. Um, so it's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you can make out everything on. It's uh, got our Cedar Hill Country Market .com, my name, handcrafted by my wife got me this a while back uh, for this stuff, so it's really interesting. Uh, I like it, but like I said, it's takes some getting used to um, figuring out the the actual pressure you want to put and how long you want to leave it. Because I've had it to where it just burns right into the wood, and I'm I'm wanting to do it a little bit different. So anyhow. Um, any questions on the Carolina Wren nest box, uh, let me know. All right, we'll see you on the next video.